the ashiness of this foundation has me thirsty sis hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a trying new stuff style video i've just been like holding on to all of this new stuff and i haven't been trying it because i'm overwhelmed with how many things i've gotten in the past like a month and a half like i have so much stuff to try and most times i either just give it away or it ends up in a box somewhere and i don't touch it can at least give you guys my opinion on some of these things maybe not a full review but at least an opinion most of it's going to be pr first i'm going to prime my skin you guys know i love like using serums and vitamin type primers because i feel like that helps my skin underneath my makeup skin is number one i always talk about that skin is number one if your skin ain't right then your makeup ain't gonna be right and this one is from may love and sorry i opened it off camera let me play this <laughs> this is the may love antioxidant serum on the back it says get an extra boost of nourishment and protection with this balanced formula of vitamin c and e ferulic acid and sodium hyal hyal i can never say this right hyaluronic acid is that how you say it higher Hyaluron, hyaluronic. It's the one that helps with hydration. You use this in the morning after cleansing, apply three drops to the face, neck, and chest. May Love is a newer brand. It was talked about in Refinery29, I believe. I think that's where I saw it. They said that this was an industry game changer. We shall see, we'll put it to the test and I'll let you guys know how I like it. You guys know my struggles with opening things. There's a video of me opening, trying to open a candy egg on Easter and I was literally just making the same face I don't know why I can't open things like I just am open deficient oh my god there you go ten hours later we can get stored it so I'm just gonna drop don't end in your eye don't get it in your eye Vicky all right so after blending that into my skins it's feeling sticky it's not making me oily or anything it's not an oil it's a serum but it does feel kind of tacky to the touch so I feel like this is gonna make my makeup stick to my face you know what I'm saying so yeah it feels nice though you know but it just feels like when you spray you know like you spray fix plus on your face that's what it feels like it feels like fix plus so um yeah we're gonna see how that works underneath my makeup how it do, what it does for me and I'll let you guys know all the information about the may love glow maker serum will be in the description box be sure to check that out um, and I will be sure to let you guys know what I think about it later on. So yeah, this is the Sunday Riley foundation. This is the influencer, which works perfect because I'm an influencer. So it was made for me. Natural looking, long wear, lightweight feel, satin matte finish, medium to full coverage. If you guys know anything about me and my skincare routine, you know I am obsessed, obsessed with Sunday Riley. And this is their first makeup product i felt like it would work really well for my skin since i already use their products on my skin not the cheapest i believe it's 42 dollars. let me go on my sephora app and make sure that i have this correct i wanted to give you guys my opinion on it and let you guys know what i thought i bought this with my money i didn't get this sent to me i got the color 250 i was going between 240 and 250 i originally tried to try 240 which is tan with caramel and then in 250 is tan with golden bronze undertone i tried 240 on in the store and it was ashy on me but that's sephora and you know sephora them lights be lying to you honey there's 20 shades which isn't horrible but it's not the best especially for a high-end foundation so we'll see how this works so it's got a pump on it. it i like the packaging it's nice and slim and sleek gonna paint this on whoa it's a little on the ashy side it's blit, actually, no it's not, just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my face all over and I'm gonna shut up and just see how this works for my skin. It's not warm at all, um, as far as like the golden bronzeness that, I'm, that I was looking for. I don't see golden. Like, it's not giving me, like it's not making my skin look pretty. Look at that. Yeah, that's a little ashy. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know guys. So far, I don't know. Where's the box? Cause I'm keeping it. <laughs> you may need to take her back to Sephora. I need some more yellow. Cause this is, nope, this is ashy. This is ashy. All right, so we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to fix this. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of Macau. I don't like how this is looking. 
NARS Sheer Glow Foundation is so beautiful. It's just the most beautiful foundation ever. I don't know why. So that kind of helps around the edges. I'm going to go ahead um, and put some more on. Actually, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use my Total Control Drops. Work that out. And these usually get me right. I think that's helping. I've actually just got a box of concealers from Milk Makeup. Got a package from Milk Makeup. It's called the Flex Concealer. I've had this package for a good minute. Like it's been about a month or so that I've had this package. And the Flex Concealer has been out for a while. So it's not necessarily new, but it's new to me. So we're gonna try it out. Flex seamlessly becomes one with your skin. Uh, goes from AM to PM. Gives you medium to full coverage. You won't even feel. Comes in eight shades. New shades coming out in fall 2018. Okay, so these are the regular shades. They did not send me the new shades. The new shades coming out will be out in the fall. Um, but I'm gonna use medium tan. That's a good shade. And I like that it has a doe foot applicator, you know, so I can easily apply the product. I'm actually thinking about trying another one. Let me see. Let's try medium, but it's smoothing on really nicely. So I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender and I'll be back. I had to blend out this concealer because I had to go get another battery and it was drying and I didn't have time to just, it, listen, we did what we had to do, okay? Yeah, so I used medium on this side and then I used medium tan on the other side. I think medium tan is more my, my shade. I think once the new shade comes out, that may be my perfect shade because this is a little ashy too. <laughs> We're just experiencing a lot of ashiness today. I'm going to highlight the center of my face though. But as far as the concealer goes, as far as like the consistency and all of that, I think it feels fine. It's not cakey at all very lightweight. I was gonna use, use a new setting powder, but I don't believe that that setting powder is going to work with what I have going today. We've got a lot of ash going on. I'm actually gonna use my flower. And hopefully this does it. It looks like it is. It's kind of helping out a little bit. I feel like the, the ashiness of the Sunday Riley is seeping through. I really wanted to like the Sunday Riley foundation. Don't get me wrong. I am not trying to dislike it. All right, so Urban Decay sent me something. This is the new Beached collection and there are some bronzers in here so hopefully I have a bronzer that's my color that can warm up my ashy face <laughs> hotter than your summer fling dive into endless summer there's a beached shadow palette in here Ooh, look at these shades oh those are pretty I may do something with that I was gonna use the Patrick Star stuff but I'm liking how this looks so focus on me everything's going wrong everything's going wrong so let's see what the bronzers are looking like and then we can move forward. I think the yellow helped though. I think the yellow powder helped a little bit. I'm gonna put powder all over it to kind of blend that out. I need some water, I'm thirsty. The ashiness of this foundation has me thirsty, sis. So I'm gonna use um, my Kat Von D. This powder is Deep 74 and it's a little warm. It's warmer than my, my regular powder that I usually use. I'm just gonna use this to blend out the rest of my face. This is a very full coverage powder as well, so it's gonna help maybe cover, potentially cover some of that ashiness. And it looks like it's doing the job. This Kat Von D powder never fails me, y'all. It usually works really well for masking any color issues. There's bronze and Sunkissed. I'm gonna use bronze. Now, usually with bronzers, it's, it's either a hit or a miss. Most of the time, bronzers are too light for me. Um, they just never make deep bronzers. I don't know why companies don't make bronzers for dark skinned women, other than like CoverGirl Queen collection. You really can't find too many bronzers on the market that work for all skin types, you know what I'm saying? This is what it looks like in the pan. We're gonna try it out. Hopefully, she's not gonna disappoint me like I think she is. But... I'm not putting on any contour first, just so I can get a good idea of how the color looks on me. That's definitely not dark enough for me. I just need companies to come out with darker bronzers. I mean, it's giving me a little bit of something, but not enough. <sighs> wow, guys, I didn't think I'd be disappointed with so many products today, but we're just gonna go in with our normal dark chocolate soda. I didn't wanna be disappointed. I promise you guys, I did not try to make this video to be disappointed. I don't like being disappointed in products. I love finding new products that work for me. I'm having to go on top of it with my own products that I like and that's not a good thing. We're gonna use the Urban Decay Beached Palette. Oh, it opens up like this. Okay, 
that's what it looks like. And it's got some really pretty blues and stuff. First, I'm going to use Daybreak. And that's what I'm gonna use in my crease area. And ooh, oh, this is a nice color. Oh, wow. This color payoff is nice. Okay, Urban Decay, you may be saving the day today. I'm actually gonna take this on my lower lash line as well. We got some summertime fine shades in here that are gonna be really good for like beach parties, swimming and stuff. Not that you would go swimming with makeup on, but you know we all go to pool parties and don't swim, at least I do. Who else goes to outdoorsy events and doesn't do anything outdoorsy? That's me. So I'm gonna use this 16th Street. That looks really, really pretty. What is this? MAC 217. And this is a gorgeous gold color. Ooh, look at that. This would probably be really cute on somebody who knows how to do a cut crease. Listen, I've tried it. It does not work on sister girl right here, okay? I'm gonna use this color Double Dip and I'm going to put that right on my lower lash line. She's pretty. Can y'all see that? I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see. Now I'm thinking I should've put this all over my lid. I'm getting some Pocahontas vibes. I'm gonna use a little bit of plunge too on the outer corner. Just to deepen that up some. And plunge is this color right here. Okay, eyeshadow look. You know I don't wear eyeshadow, so this is doing something for me, honey. Where am I going? Okay, y'all, I think I did something. Look at me. Look at me. I never do any eyeshadow, so I feel so special. Yeah, I'm gonna use Blaze on my brow bone area. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I don't have a new brow product, so I'm just gonna do my regular brows, and I'm gonna come back. Okay, so our brows are on. So now I'm gonna do mascara. I'm gonna put on some lash. I feel like I need some glitter. This needs a glitter. This book calls for glitter. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Glitter. Here we go. So now we're gonna do our lashes. The new mascara that I'm gonna use is the Kush Mascara. And this is by, um, Milk makeup. I've already used this and it does contain cannabis. All right, but it doesn't get you high. Number one, it just gets your lashes high. So that's what we're going with. <laughs> I like the packaging. It's very heavy. This is heavy. Um, it has a very big wand, which I like because that's good for volume. And I do feel like that it, it does separate and elongate my lashes really well. If a mascara isn't really good, I can tell because like within the first three swipes and my lashes are not plumped up, I can tell. And this brush definitely does just that. Like it plumps them up and makes them really long, um, really fast. So for me, that's just what I notice about mascaras. Um, but there are a few that I've tried that I am not a fan of um, because they don't really do anything. Like it takes me like 18 swipes before I can actually notice a difference. I'm gonna put lashes on anyway, but I just wanted y'all to know that this mascara is is good. Do we have a blush like substance? Give me a blush like substance. So this is new. This is from uh, Benefit Gold Rush. This is what the packaging looks like. And it's like a highlighter slash blush. It's a warm golden nectar blush. Sweep on this rich golden nectar blush with a stroke of luxe. Okay, sis. It comes with a little brush like this inside of the little box. So I'm just gonna swipe this. It looks like it's got some chunky glitter in here. Ooh, it's flying everywhere. But we're gonna try it out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. First of all, this is too light for me for a blush. It smells, it smells really good. I'm not getting the gold part. This is ashy too. Why is everything ashy today? You guys know I don't like to be negative. I don't like to be negative. I don't like to talk bad about products. We talk about things that I like on my channel. I don't like to talk about things I don't like. She is disappointed. So I got this box from NARS. We're gonna we're gonna try something in here. I got this box from NARS. It's a beautiful box. It's got a mirror in it. Gorgeous box. And it has some products in it. So we're gonna try some of this. Um, it's called Erdem. Um, so there's two blushes in here. So I'm gonna try one of these. Hopefully one of these blushes work out for me. Oh, what is this? Loves me not. 
I think that's a highlight. That looks kind of ashy too. Everything looks ashy today. This is a blush. Here we go. Here we go. Um, this is the color Loves Me. So I'm gonna take my blush brush. It looks really pretty. Ooh, that is pigmented. Oh my. We're gonna lightly tap this. Ooh. I'm being very light-handed with this because this is a kind of heavy blush. I like it though. I feel like as this wears off throughout the day, it's gonna be really pretty. It's a lot right now, but it's gonna be really pretty. I don't have any new highlighters, do I? I'm gonna use Drop of a Hat, which is a super shock cheek. It's like a peachy gold color. Um, my ColourPop, I'm gonna use this first. To some degree, this looks kinda like my brow bone highlight, so I'm just gonna graze right over this bump right here because we don't have time. We are beautiful no matter what. We will wear the highlight. Bumps or not, she's not perfect, but she's darn near close, okay? I will say this foundation, in conjunction with the other foundations that I applied, looks great once I've put all that powder and stuff on top. So, it's not too terrible. All right, we're looking pretty good. The lashes that I wore in my last video, they're called Tees, Lily Lashes, Tees. I actually got these from Riley Rose, which is downtown Chicago, and I was too excited. I just had to buy a pair, so I got some, they're not like too, like crazy. So yeah, I wore these lashes in my Beauty Bakery video. They weren't really sitting right on my eyes. So we're gonna try them again. Lashes are on. I think I'm gonna get some more of these cause these are super cute. I don't know sis, we turning out kinda cute for our makeup to be trash today. I mean, I feel like I'm working this out. I'm doing the best I can. We're gonna do our lips now. I was thinking about using one of the Vice lipsticks. Got a red, a peachier nude, and a metallic nude. Okay, we about to do that. The red is a sheer though. It's 100 degrees and this is sheer. I'm thinking about Heat Wave, because Tower One looks, well, I'm gonna try both and we'll see. This is the packaging and this is her. Okay, that is Heat Wave. So this is Tower One. She looks like she's gonna be kinda sheer. I'm gonna do a swatch. Tower One is, ooh, but it's pretty though. The metallic in this is pretty. If I wanted to stay nude, I would go with that. This one has more color payoff and it's a little bit more bronzy. I'm gonna line my lip first and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna try Heat Wave first on the bottom. She is metallic. That is she. I don't know, I feel like I have really liney lips, so I'm not sure if I like this. I'm gonna try the other one and see what that looks like, and then we can decide. Yeah, this is one of those things that you just put on your bare lips when you're trying to be beachy and Rihanna-like, you know, Barbados, but just give me a little shim shim, a little shim shim. On a scale of one to Meryl Streep, how old lady-ish do I look with this lipstick? <laughs> Goldie Hawn, not Goldie. Goldie, Goldie. Wow, this video is gonna be great because there are so many things that I tried today that are terrible. Cause you know y'all YouTube people be here for the drama. If it's trash, we wanna see it. There's a lot of trash in this video. There's some good stuff too, but. Now, I won't say this is trash. I won't say this is trash. It's just not for me where I'm at in my life right now. Maybe one day when I'm retired to my beach home, then I will wear this. But for me right now, in this season of my life, this is not it. I'm gonna try the other one though to see how I feel. So this is, this Tower One lipstick is just a good shimmer. It's clear with some shimmer. It's cute. I like this one. If you want a glossy look without gloss, this might be for you. Shine and shimmer, but without the sticky glossy feel. I like her, we're keeping her. She's been added to the Vicky bag. This is my Vicky bag, by the way. This is my Vicky bag of all of my lippies that I wear on the reg, and I take this with me when I travel and stuff. I forgot who gave this to me. If you gave this to me, shout yourself out in the comments. Final verdict, things that I liked. Um, I liked the serum. That worked well, I believe, because my face feels great. The foundation, sorry. I'm sorry, but the ash was real. I'm probably gonna take the foundation back. I love Sunday Riley. That is not to discredit anything else that they make. This is their first 
launch as far as I know for makeup products so I think that maybe they just need to work on their shades a little bit more other than that I think I like the consistency of it I like the actual foundation formula I mean the concealer doesn't seem to be creasing or anything after I've said it with powder it looks great it's a little bit ashy on me as well I think the color I need those middle between colors I really like beach eyeshadow palette by Urban Decay I like the difference in the opening situation I feel like that's different and unique um, I think the shades are really nice in here. Typically not super into Urban Decay shadows. They're never like go-to's, like something that I would use every single day. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how much I'll use this, but I do think it's very, very pretty and I like the shades in it. But I like this palette. I do like this lipstick though. And I am gonna put this in my collection as one of my go-to's because I love the way this looks. Like the glossy, like metallic finish, I love that. I don't know, this is one of my most underwhelming tutorial slash try on things i don't know guys better luck next time <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this i hope that you thought it was somewhat helpful and entertaining to watch if you did give me a thumbs up and let me know you want to see more try it out videos where i try new stuff so yeah that's it i'll talk to you guys in my next video okay